It is a true privilege to house, study and present these marvelous artworks at Bernard's. And sometimes it happens that you study, you search, you reach out to the experts out there in the field, but it's just impossible to attribute a certain painting to a certain artist. And then it happens that the highlight of an auction remains an anonymous one. Such as this case, this intriguing painting, in which a magpie and two beetles are watching a scene in which several animals dressed as humans are waiting in front of the desk of a lawyer in the figure of a fox. In the center, a vulture is fighting a devil figure by holding in his claws a banner with the French slogan Abolition de la peine de mort, or abolition or stop to the death penalty. The entire scene seems to be inspired by one of France's most famous cartoonists of the 19th century, Jean Ignace Granville. He was famous for criticizing society with his drawings in which animals play everyday life scenes as humans. And in this particular composition, we recognize the table, the bird standing in front of it, from an illustration he made for the book La Vie Privée et Publique des Animaux in 1842. However, we know that Granville was not fond of painting. He barely took up a brush to color his marvelous drawings. And here we see a spontaneous, almost expressive, yet accurate handling of the brush. This means that the artist must have been skilled in painting with oil. Some of the words on the posters on the wall, such as Liégeois, referring to the city of Liège, Flandre, might indicate that we are looking for a Belgium anonymous painter. A couple of decades ago, this painting was bought by a Belgian art collector at the Antiques Fair in Delft. It was bought with the title La Justice des Animaux, the Animal Court. Yet, it's more likely that we can interpret this scene as a general accusation against the death penalty or the legal system in general.